Zoledronic acid is a bisphosphonate used to treat malignancy-associated hypercalcemia, multiple myeloma, and bone metastasis from solid tumors. In this video, let's find found. What is zoledronic acid? What is zoledronic acid used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking zoledronic acid? How does zoledronic acid work? How to use zoledronic acid? What is zoledronic acid? Zoledronic acid, also known as zoledronate and sold under the brand name Zomita by Novartis among others, is a medication used to treat a number of bone diseases. These include osteoporosis, high blood calcium due to cancer, bone breakdown due to cancer, Paget's disease of bone and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Zoledronic acid was patented in 1986 and approved for medical use in the United States in 2001. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. What is zoledronic acid used for? Zoledronic acid is indicated to treat hypercalcemia of malignancy, multiple myeloma, bone metastases from solid tumors, osteoporosis in men and postmenopausal women, glucocorticoid-induced osteoporosis, and Paget's disease of bone in men and women. Zoledronic acid is also indicated for the prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women and glucocorticoid-induced osteoporosis. Contraindication Poor kidney function, e.g. estimated glomerular filtration rate, less than 30 ml per minute. Hypocalcemia Pregnancy Paralysis Side effects Side effects can include fatigue, anemia, muscle aches, fever, and or swelling in the feet or legs. Flu-like symptoms are common after the first infusion, although not subsequent infusions, and are thought to occur because of its potential to activate human gamma-delta T-cell, gamma-delta T-cells. Contraindication Poor kidney function, e.g. estimated glomerular filtration rate, less than 30 ml per minute. Hypocalcemia. Pregnancy. Paralysis. Mechanism of action. Bisphosphonates are taken into the bone where they bind to hydroxyapatite. Bone resorption by osteoclasts causes local acidification, releasing the bisphosphonate, which is taken into the osteoclast by fluid phase endocytosis. Endocytic vesicles become acidified bisphosphonates into the cytosol of osteoclasts where they act. Osteoclasts mediate resorption of bone. When osteoclasts bind to bone, they form podosomes, ring structures of effactin. Edadronic acid also inhibits VAT passase in the osteoclast, though the exact subunits are unknown, preventing effactin from forming podosomes. Disruption of the podosomes causes osteoclasts to detach from bones, preventing bone resorption. Nitrogen-containing bisphosphonates such as zoledronate are known to induce apoptosis of hematopoietic tumor cells by inhibiting the components of the mevalinate pathway farnesyldsphate synthase, farnesyldiphosphate, and geranildronildiphosphate. These components are essential for post-translational prenylation of GTP binding proteins like RAP1. The lack of prenylation of these proteins interferes with their function, and in the case of RAP1, leads to apoptosis. Zoledronate also activates caspases, which further contribute to apoptosis. Half-life Zoledronic acid has a terminal elimination half-life of 146 hours. Dose Hypercalcemia of malignancy Zomita, no more than 4 mg 4, infused over greater than 15 minutes, once, may be repeated in 7 days. Monitor serum calcium and wait at least 7 days before considering retreatment. Multiple myeloma bone metastases from solid tumors. Zomita, 4 mg 4, infused over greater than 15 minutes, every 3 to 4 weeks. Osteoporosis. Reduction in incidence of fractures, hip, vertebral, and nonvertebral osteoporosis-related fractures. Prevention of postmenopausal women. Reclast. 5 mg 4 over 5 minutes every 2 years. Treatment in men and postmenopausal women. Reclast, 5 mg 4 over greater than 15 minutes every year. Glucocorticoid-induced osteoporosis. 
treatment and prevention. Reclast, 5 mg for over greater than 15 minutes every year, supplemented with elemental calcium and vitamin D Paget disease. Reclast, 5 mg for over greater than 15 minutes once, supplemented with elemental calcium and vitamin D. Safety advice. Zoledronic acid is a pregnancy category D drug and should not be used in pregnant women or in nursing mothers. Female patients should be warned not to become pregnant or to breastfeed while receiving zoledronic acid therapy. That's all the information about zoledronic acid we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.